Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a beet plant from Plants vs. Zombies. We're going to get started in the center of the page with a curve for the brow line. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and in. From this point, I just want to curve up the inner part of the frown. And then on the end here, I'm just going to curve in, aiming towards that point. We're not going to go all the way, about halfway. Now just below the brow, we're going to draw in a half circle for the eye. Starting on the inside, we're going to step in, draw a curve towards the bottom, then pull that back up. On the inside here, we're going to draw another half circle for the pupil. Circling around. And then on the top right side, we're going to draw a smaller half circle for a highlight. Let's move over and draw in the right eye. So we're going to start with a little gap in the center. We're going to draw a little curve that comes down, right about there. Now we're going to curve and wave up the upper brow up, and as we get to the top, we're just going to flatten it out on the end. We're going to draw an oval just tucked underneath this brow line. So stepping in, we'll curve down to the bottom, and then we're going to pull that up to the top. We're going to draw another oval in here for the pupil. So starting up here, circle around, and then back up to the top. Now moving down in the center, just below the eyes, right down here, we're going to draw the top part of the mouth. So starting on the outside, we'll curve up. We're going to go back to the starting point and just flatten out a curve to the lower part of the mouth, curving out. Now inside here, we're just going to draw a curve from the top to the bottom of the mouth. Let's color that all in black. Now just below the mouth, we're going to draw on the lower lip. Starting from the outside, from the bottom corner, we're going to curve out towards the right, and we'll just pull this back in towards the mouth. Let's go to the right side of the head. We're going to draw the profile edge of the head. So just up here, we're going to draw a curve that comes down to right about there. We're going to extend the brow line out. So from this point, we're going to curve down. And we're going to pull this back in, aiming towards the eye with a short little curve. Now we're going to pull the side of the face in behind the lip with a curve. Coming down and pull it in behind the lip. We're going to continue this line just below the lip down here. A little curve that goes across like that. Now we're going to go over the right side and draw on the back side of the head. So I want to line up the top edge right up here and draw a curve coming down towards the chin. Coming around and aiming towards this line here, leaving a little gap. Now we're going to draw in a little stem. From this point, we're going to step back and draw a little wave coming down. So curving out towards the left and then curving back towards the right. Over here, we're going to step over and just draw a curve and we're going to pinch it in towards the bottom so it gets a little bit narrower at the base here. Let's draw in the dirt. So I'm going to draw a curve that just overlaps those lines. I'm going to cross like that. We're going to go to the left side here and draw in the dirt sort of pile out here. Curving out. And we're going to overlap this, curving over and then down. We're going to draw like a C shape on the end. Now we're going to overlap this line coming down in the opposite direction. Curving down and then in. We're going to draw another little curve like this, just flipped over. Curving down up, stepping down, doing another overlap, curving around, step down again, draw another bigger curve going out towards the right, and then back in, and then one final overlap, we'll just come up in behind the root. Let's add some spots in the dirt here. So on this side we'll draw a circle, down here we'll draw a smaller one, draw a small one up here, and then a large one at the base here. Now these two points are going to curve up to make up the top of the head, but we want to draw in that little leaf first. So stepping down, about the same height as these lines, we're going to draw a little curve. Coming down, and then back up. This is a little socket for the leaves. So in the middle here, start down here, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. Now I'm going to pull this back in. So going out, and then pulling it back in towards that line. We're going to draw another one coming out this way. So we're going to step over just a little, curving up this out, going out towards the right, and then just pulling that in behind this little socket. We'll add one more here, just sort of layered in behind this front leaf. So stepping down here, curving out, now we're going to pull this in towards the base like that. Now that we have the leaves in place, I can take these two points and connect it with a curve going in behind. So we're going to go up in the middle here. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve up, in behind the leaves. Now you want to imagine this going in behind, so it's going to peek in between here, and then on this side we're going to curve down towards the front of the head. Let's add those little lines on the top of the head. So from this point we're going to step in, leave a little gap, curving across. 
across and over. We're sort of aiming towards this point. I'm gonna step in from the right side and draw the opposite, curving across like that. We'll add another line in here, so it's almost like a little swirl. Swirl around, back in. We'll draw one up here, hooking around, and then one more just below. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a beet plant from Plants vs. Zombies. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.